Hi, welcome to this product review for airbrushes.com. The airbrush company is based out of England, the UK. They are my sponsor for the Dorama project and this is a video of some products that they have sent me for this project and let's take a look at what we have. First up we have the United States Navy World War II paint set from Life Color. It consists of Ocean Gray number 5, Light Gray number 5L, Ocean Gray 5O, Dark Gray 5D, Sea Blue 5S, Deck Blue 20B. Set 2, United States Navy World War II Set 2 consists of Haze Gray 5H, Navy Blue 5N, Pale Gray 5P, Mahogany Stain, Flight Deck Blue 21, Neutral Haze Gray. The next set we have is the Imperial Japanese Navy from World War II Set 1, which consists of Sasebo Gray, Cure Gray, Yokosaka Gray, Miyazura Gray, Linoleum Deck, Anti-fouling whole red. The next set we have is Imperial Japanese Navy World War II Late War set number two, which is Camo Green Type 1, Camo Green Type 2, Biomatsu Deck 10, Hanoki Deck 10, Camo Green Type 21, Camo Green Type 22. The next set we have is the Kriegsmarine German Navy World War II Set 1, which has Helligru, Sasabugru, DKM 50, DKM 51, DKM 50 variation, DKM 51 variation, Dunkergru, Route 5, I can't pronounce that word. <laughs> Next set we have is the German Navy World War II set two for their U-boats. And you can see the colors that are involved in this. I cannot pronounce these. I don't speak German. <laughs> but they are uh, DKM 23, uh, 58, 58-1, 52, 53, and TF-99 faded. Next we have the Royal Navy from World War II, Eastern Approach, Early War Set 1, which is Admiralty Dark Gray 507 Alpha, Admiralty Medium Gray 507 Bravo, Admiralty Light Gray 507 Charlie, Light Gray 20B, Medium Green Gray MS3, Dark Blue Gray 5B. The next set we have is the Royal Navy from World War II, the Western Approach, Late War. This is set number two, which consists of whole red, Western Approach blue, Western Approach green, white, Syntex green, and Corticini, which is a brownish color. Next we have the Italian Navy from World War II, the Regatta Marine Set 1. I do not speak Italian, so I'm not going to attempt to brutalize these names. You can see for yourself in the video the uh, names of the paints. And next we have the uh, Mobile Equipment Research and Design Command paint schemes, which consist of black, brown, green, sand, Earth Yellow and Earth Red. Next we have the US Army Olive Drab paint set which consists of Olive Drab, Olive Drab 319, Khaki Olive Drab, Olive Drab uh, 222, Olive Drab Faded Type 1, and Olive Drab Faded Type 2. And next we have uh, the Life Color Liquid Pigments 
uh, washes uh, for holes in wooden decks. Now you see where it says that these are non-smelling washes. Believe it when they say they do not have an odor. I was actually surprised. The only thing I could smell was the plastic bottles that they came in. Now this consists of fouling green surface shadower, wooden deck darkener, wooden deck shadower, dried salt, and a bottle of remover. You can use these with a brush. You can use them with an airbrush. The uh, trick to airbrushing these types of paints is you have to thin the mix to a milky type consistency. Uh, it does recommend that you use life color acrylic thinner, but if you don't have it, you can use water. Uh, I recommend that you use distilled water. Uh, tap water has a lot of uh, different elements and minerals in it that may react with the paints. The uh, the overall coverage of these paints is very well. They they are able to be brushed. So you folks that don't use an airbrush, uh, not worth. You can use uh, these with paint brushes. These are the uh, Life Color Acrylic Thinners and the Life Color uh, Cleaner for your brushes and airbrushes. Once you use the uh, cleaner for your airbrush and air paint brushes, uh, it's usually pretty good to use some kind of a uh, brush preserver, uh, almost like a, a saddle soap type uh, preserver. You can pick those up at uh, any local craft and hobby store, such as uh, here in the United States, it's uh, Hobby Lobby is one. But uh, anywhere that can carries uh, acrylic paints and uh, paint brushes and stuff like that, look in the... Uh, uh, sections that uh, you can find uh, paint palettes and stuff such as that and you'll find uh, brush preservers. That way you can preserve your paint brushes a lot longer than uh, you normally would because they're not really cheap and you can make them last a lot longer. Now each of these sets contains six types of paints and we'll take a look at how they're packaged. These paints, pardon the interruption there, my home computer cut on. Uh, they give you uh, they're plastic bottles, they're 22 milliliter bottles. They give you the name of the paint. It gives you the UA number. And it gives you a brief description of how to use the paints. The the paints themselves are very good paints. I've used a few sets in the past and I'm quite pleased with them on how they turn out. The uh, color range that you get with these paints is pretty phenomenal. The Life Color Mimic set has 400, I believe it's 420 paints in the line and right here you can see there's several of them that airbrush.com has given me for the Dorama. Now I'm not too good at videos and I know this video is kind of shaky but I'm learning how to do these things and I hope to get them a lot better. Now the uh, Imperial Japanese Navy sets that you see here, those are the newest uh, paint sets that have been put out by Life Color. 
I have checked the uh, paint against uh, Imperial Japanese Navy paint swatches. Guys, these are a dead on match. I cannot find any thing that seems to be off in shading or tones. They're just, they're dead on. You can't beat them. These uh, paint sets uh, you can pick up from airbrush.com. Um, they are basically about $17.00. And uh, U.S. money, um, the uh, a lot of people say that that's quite a bit of money. Well, it's not really that bad considering the size of bottles that you get. Like I said, they're 22 milliliter bottles. They can be thinned down. They have little to no odor. And uh, it's just a fantastic product. I will be doing other videos demonstrating how these paints cover. And uh, how to thin them down to use in an airbrush. But I want to uh, give you guys a overall look at uh, what's available out there. That's a lot of paints. So you guys that like to build uh, warships such as I, uh, depending on the era that you are building, can't beat it if you're going for World War II. They've got them covered. Now, the Dorama that I'm building is a modern era Dorama. But, with the various shades of grays and blues that come in these sets, the uh, the Navy actually still uses quite a few of these. And all the Navy Gray 5A or 5 here, uh, they still use that. Haze Gray, they still use that. Navy Blue, they still use that. Neutral Haze Gray, yes, they still use it. Now, with the Imperial Japanese Navy paints, uh, the Japanese Self-Defense Force, uh, the JMSDF, uh, yes, they still use some of these colors as well. The predominant one that you'll find on most ships is this gray right here, the Masura gray and the Cure gray. Cure gray is usually used for the decks, and the Masura gray is... Uh, usually used for the vertical surfaces. Anti-fouling red, just about every Navy uses it. The United States uses this, Japan uses it. Um, I believe Great Britain actually uses a blue anti-fouling paint. Germany uses a uh, red, the red anti-fouling. But, uh, guys, you just can't beat it. The Neto paint set here for your camouflage colors, they're dead on. Can't beat them. They also have several other washes in on liquid pigments that are available. I mean, you don't have to build ships to get these things. They have them for armor. They had them for uh, buildings, uh, lifelike people, just anything and everything you can imagine. So, uh, if you will, do me a favor. Go check out airbrushes.com. Check out their website. Look at the products that they have available. Their prices are not bad. And I hope you can uh, find something that you can use. And I hope this video has been helpful. Like I said, we'll be doing uh, uh, testing uh, and how-to videos 
with these paints and uh, hopefully everything will go good for you thank you again and we look forward to hearing from you and if you like the videos please post your comments below if you have any questions comments regarding uh, the Dorama and how things are going don't hesitate to ask have a good day